Oh, I screwed that up royally. Yep, screwed that up royally. Oh, that's embarrassing. Welcome back to another episode of Games and Slow and Bad. Replay games slowly and most often badly. So, guys, I tried. I really did. I really did in between episodes. I tried. I tried a lot. But... I can only get 21 in a row out of 30. I can't, I, I literally can't do it. We're going to need to shelf that for a little bit. But in the meantime, we have other fun things to do. Those other fun things are kicking Jinx's butt. Which is going to happen right now. We're going to make sure we're, we're geared up. And by that, I mean I'm going to go get some pick-me-ups. Because that, that'd be bad if I didn't have pick-me-ups. Peach goes down, I need to be able to bring Peach back up. We're also going to use this flower jar. 82. Oh, yeah. And we are good. Let's knock this, let's knock this punk out. Let's get this done. Yeah, let's do this, Jinx. That was bad. Quicksilver. Oh, I missed. Bombs away. This one's annoying. Oh, I miss. Wow. That is some RNG right there. That is some good luck. So in this fight, his defense is significantly higher. And along those lines, we have to be a little bit more judicious about healing. And it'd be great if I hit a timed hit. So Mario is able to hit for quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, Mario also uh, can be hit for quite a bit. Uh, Bowser is pretty well defensed, but can't hit nearly as much. Uh, Peach can take a beating, and I have limited concern about Peach. Mario can be taken on one hit, though. So thank God we have Peach, because she's going to bring him back every time. Thank you. Thirty-four. Quicksilver. One. Isn't that amazing? Man, that lazy shell, although it makes her slow as anything... Just makes her such a tank. And I guess the slowness actually works to your favor. If, uh... If you're using it as a healer, like we are. Because she always goes last. So, all of the actions resolve before her. And then she's able to go and heal who needs to be healed. Yeah, four. Good luck, bud. So, you could theoretically throw the shell on, um, Mario. But you get such limited benefit. Because... He would go so slow, he'd be able to hit, but not significantly. I believe the Lazy Shell even... Oh, 316? I believe the Lazy Shell also actually damages your attack power. Um, 316. Come on, game. I'm going to shut up now. We're going to crank through this and knock this guy out. Quicksilver. Block it, Mario. Block it. Yes! Phew! Simply amazing. Whoa. You are the stronger champion, no doubt about it. My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I've lost the title of Sensei. 
From today, you are the sensei of this dojo. Please take this belt, which uh, only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. Receive a Jinx belt. We will rename the dojo Mario Style Dojo and incorporate your jump training into the techniques. So before, it said J in the front for Jinx. And now he's carving a new sign. We'll start training immediately. Thousand warm-up jumps. Yep, great. Mario! Isn't that neat? Okay, Jinx belt. Get ready, folks. Get ready. Shabam! So, magic down. It doesn't really matter. Attack up. How much attack up, you might be asking? Well, I'm at 191, and this would bring me up to 211. It's pretty legit. It's pretty serious. If I actually wanted to sacrifice even more defense, I could go back to work pants. Um, which, by the way, Bowser's still wearing. Um, because I don't want to give up the, the offense. Um, but I'm going to stick with the uh, fuzzy shirt for now. Okay. So with that, I think we knocked out a few things I wanted to do before moving on. Other than the jump thing. Which I will put down and continue at a later date and time. So we're going to go back to Nimbus Land because Nimbus Land is where we pick up the bus. And the bus brings us where we need to go. I'm sorry, did you say a bus? Yes, I saw it. I said a bus. Lakitu's, my friend. Lakitu's are functionally just buses. The bus is undergoing repairs. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe I got to talk to the king? Oh, that's right. The bus is not there yet. That's right. Yeah, hot springs. Yeah, it took me a second, but I remembered. Hot springs. Hot springs are neat because this is a health top up. And this says, hey, don't jump off the... No, that was a bad idea. You just jumped into a volcano. Yep, I did. Um, there's a fun sort of easter eggy thing in here that just makes me smile every time I play this game. First off, is this is the music in the volcano not the best? Like, we've heard some good tracks so far in this game. But is this not literally the best music in the game? Oh, I screwed that up royally. Yep, screwed that up royally. Oh, that's embarrassing. Alright, so in the interest of fighting guys and going through them, we have Magmus and Orloikin. Since I don't want to be poisoned to death, I'm going to knock these guys out first. Alright, we're also going to face this Dry Bones, which isn't actually a Dry Bones, it's called uh, Vomer. But first we're going to get uh, rid of Chained Kong. So Chained Kong is only funny because uh, obviously it's Donkey Kong. Uh, but if you know the background of Donkey Kong in the franchise, um, Nintendo had to fight Universal tooth and nail uh, for essentially the ability to use the Donkey Kong, um, fran the, to actually use their Donkey Kong franchise. Universal claimed that basically because they had King Kong, Donkey Kong was theirs and threatened to sue them into oblivion. Um, this was not received well by the courts. It's worth a look up. Gaming Historian does a really interesting thing on it. Um, come here. Come here. There we go. Gaming Historian does a really interesting thing on it. We have uh, Corpodite, which is a body and a head, and Pyrosphere. So if you're looking for something to watch, um, 
I can't recommend that enough. That's super interesting. Migraine. Uh, so that's a one-hit KO type attack. Low probability of hitting, but it's more of a nuisance than anything else. Because if you knock someone out, then they are going to come back with one health. Oh, another enemy. We have... Armored Ant. I don't remember if this is the same as the Armored Ants we fought before. I don't believe they are. Because they seem pretty tanky. But, uh, yeah. I do wish that the music from the area played in the battle. Because at this point, this music is, is, is getting a little old. I just want a, one more, please. Or again, I can't remember what it is. Once again, there we go. I just want to once again at this point because I would like to end this fight quicker. Alright, so this is actually sneaky more difficult than it looks, uh, because you have to make some good jumps to get up there. Uh, how do I get, how do I get, how do I get, how do I get? Yeah, we'll find that later. fight him here in a second. That'll be interesting. So neat little side note, if you try to save over something that wasn't your last save, it does warn you. So you don't cannibalize someone else's save. Alright, I'm gonna say mi kind of mini boss. Uh, stump it. But I'm actually more concerned with these guys cutting me up. The death by a thousand paper cuts thing is just annoying. Yeah! Give me them XP's. What was 100 XP from that? Totally worth it. Oh god, you from fall? Oh god, I've made terrible life mistakes. Yeah, we're not, we're not playing this game. Run away. There's a certain point where you've had enough of fighting these grindy enemies. And today that came a lot sooner than it usually does. Alright.
There we go. He was one of the coolest characters in the game. It is the extreme toad. Pinopio. Hey there. Woo. I thought I had footsteps for a second. I thought I was nuts. I'm Pinopio. This place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. Pino Mart. <laughs> he fills all the roles. Hey, over here, there's some few things. Uh, Samus's ship, um, Captain Falcon's uh, spaceship, and Star Fox's spaceship. All right here in the corner. So let's see. Welcome to the item shop. What do we get in the item shop? Uh, just some basic stuff. <laughs> what do you hear? This is the inn. 30 to stay? No thanks. Armor shop. Um. I feel like this is a thing. Yeah. This is like the natural inflection point. Well, what am I getting? Not much, to be honest. So that's gonna stay there. What do we got? Perfect. We don't need his, his junk. But we are gonna throw it on a save. Inside the barrel volcano. Because we're gonna fight. first boss. Oh, wow, it's a lot of them fireball guys. Or is it? What do we got here? Is that a dragon? Yes, it is. We have the crate dragon? The czar dragon. So this guy is more of a nuisance than anything else. There's one of him. Um... He's a special attack heavy guy. Uh, water Blast, oddly enough, is I think the attack that bothers me the most. I just don't understand why he would have the power of Water Blast. We are in a, in a you know, volcano. He's made of all little fireball guys. Like, you're telling me that his power is over water? Yep. To that I say baloney, sir. Baloney. So here's the only problem with this tactic. If I get another uh, water blast this turn... I'm not going to be able to heal it off. But I didn't, so... Yeah. So again, this is a very basic boss. You knock him out pretty quick. But when he comes out, he's now a uh, skeleton. So nothing really changes. His attack set changes very slightly. And you gotta keep going with what you're doing. Oh yeah, by the way, his name is now, um, Zombone. Which I enjoy. And he has basically no defense, if we're to be honest. When you can do 200 and change damage to him, he basically has no defense. Three hundred and fifty-eight damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're really just grinding through this guy at this point. Uh, this guy's not the true boss. We'll see the true boss here in a sec. This guy is at best a mini boss. Um, he's not difficult, you know, at all. Uh, but the true boss of this level is amazing. So, we're really excited now. Because we beat the Czar Dragon. And so we're never going to use again. Got a power up, which is great. Oh yeah. Star time. Haha, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Axum red. We got the star. Axum green. We're amazing. Axum yellow. We're unbeatable. Axum pink. We're gorgeous. Axum black. You better leave now, chumps. I love this, like, Power Ranger reference. Um... Because, honestly, very much a Power Ranger reference, and for that, I, I find very humorous. Hey, Red, look down there. That's gotta be the ugliest mustache I've ever seen. Ew, gross. That guy's worse than that Claude Mario. That is Mario, you idiot. Listen, everyone, we gotta get this star to the blade immediately. We'll deal with Mario later. Oh, this music. I wish I could bottle this music. Hey, Red, careful with this. You're all thumbs. So you get this nice little chase scene where you're, you're chasing these guys, and the star constantly sort of um, eludes you. They're one step ahead of you, sort of to try and prove out how fast these guys are. You see them running down this path here. Where's the blade? He'll be here. Are you sure? Relax, people. Mario's here. He's too late. Where's the blade? Shut up already. The blade. Finally! So this thing was referenced um, in one of the previous bosses. He had mentioned like a giant swinging blade. We fight for evil. We live for disorder. We like what we do. We struggle for chaos. We are... The Axum Rangers. Yep, so like the Power Rangers. The star piece gives people hope. It needs to be destroyed. So as you can see, there's basically the um, Megazord sitting behind them. And we'll deal with that guy later. But first, every time I do this, I always do this the same way. That pink ranger needs to go down. Because she can heal. Yo, Red. What? My makeup's running. Then change brands. Just little fun, little fun things like that in this fight. All right. What is he gonna do? Solidify. So now it's gonna take Bowser out. We'll be. Nope. Okay. What luck. All right. Next up, Green. This guy's all special attacks all the time. We don't want him around. Black is also no joke, but uh, we'll get him in a sec. Yo, Red. What? I've got a headache. You're totally out of shape. Alright, I stink at this one. Yep, didn't get it. Oh well. Alright, Black Ranger first. 
This guy is throw lobs, literal bombs, which is a nuisance. Uh, the yellow guy hits pretty hard too. Uh, but we'll take him out next. There we go. Yeah, those bombs are a nuisance. And as you can see, in back to back to them, he's quick. So, that is why we take him out third. Yo, Red. What? I broke my shades. Serves your right. So, obviously, Red is the leader. Which is why they're all reporting into him. And you might be saying, why don't you use a more targeted healing method? Um, I find that I can hit the timed attack on group hug a lot better. Whoa! So since I can hit the time attack a lot better on uh, group hug, I try to just use that as much as I can. Whew. Wow. I am way slower than everyone else. Alright, come back, Bowser. slim the more they attack peach the better I uh, better off I am oh missed that time attack oh and you're gonna kill him aren't you nope uh, group hug axum yellow is going down Yo, Red. What? I'm hungry. Chew on your tongue. Alright, so here's where we're just gonna lay the hurt on Axum Red, and we can do this pretty quick. Alright, so as soon as we do enough damage to him to trigger his um, talking piece, um, he's going to jump on that head behind him, and we're going to go into phase two, uh, which I always thought was one of the more fun parts of this fight. Yep. Enough! Now I'm angry. Time to finish this. Formation ho! Here we go. Alright, so you can only attack that combined guy in the center for the Axum Rangers. And the timing is a little wonky because you attack so far before. So the Sprite Force Beam energized. Maximum charge. Now fire the Breaker. Breaker Beam. This is the bane of this fight. Because that attack is no joke. Watch this. Boom! Yep. So this is going to be an alternating comeback between uh, Bowser and Mario. Because in all likelihood, that beam is going to knock one out per turn. Recharging. Alright. This is good, uh, good practice for using therapy. Nope, missed it. Breaker beam. Alright, so Bowser's going down. Bowser's down. Mario is almost down. Both of them are down. Oh, great. Okay. Um, come back on Bowser. I feel like he's a little bit more sturdy. Then we'll come back on Mario.
Thank you. Recharging. I'm actually curious if this is going to work out the way I think it is. I'm almost wondering if I need to wait an extra turn to bring back Mario. Because I feel like he's going to get knocked out because he's glass cannon right now. Because this breaker beam, I think, is going to take him out. Like, the breaker beam will not necessarily take Bowser out, but it will always take Mario out. So I think the trick is... When I get a double knockout, to bring Mario back first, then Bowser. Because then I'll get an attack out of Mario. Oof. Missed that time, dip. Here we go. This is impossible. We are invincible. Nope. Yep, there we go. Can this be happening to the Axum Rangers? Bye, guys. Wow! It's a good fight. It was a lot of fun. So we just took down Blade, that massive ship, which we saw exactly once. Which is unfortunate. And there's the star. Because... An actual star animation was really expensive at this stage. And we're missing one final star piece. Six of them have been collected. Where could that last piece be? Alright, folks. And with that, I think that that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, hit me up below with comments. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see next because we are nearing the finish line. Um, so, hey, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching as always. And have a good night. Ooh.